Hi, this is John Mick, field agronomist with Pioneer in South Central Nebraska with an agronomy alert on soybean stem borers. Right now is a great time to be assessing bean fields for an overall soybean stem borer pressure level. Soybean stem borer adults have been actively laying eggs in bean fields for, across the region for quite some time. The developing larvae have been feeding in soybean leaf petioles and you can now see indications of them in the field as they exit the petioles and enter the main soybean stem. What a producer should look for are individual soybean leaves that are hanging within the plant canopy that have recently died. Here's a leaf that's showing an obvious wilted look, giving me an indication that something's wrong. Here's another one showing me just a little bit different manifestation of that, of that leaf death. And still if I look further, I can find leaves that have completely died in the last few weeks. A closer inspection of these leaves, more specifically of the petiole, where the petiole attaches to the stem will reveal some indicators of soybean stem bore present. Look closely where the leaf petiole has attached to this stem. You can see that there's tunneling by the discoloration and the hole. Compare that with a healthy node right below it. If I were to split this stem open, which I've done on this other plant, you'll see clearly indications of stem bore feeding throughout that stem. Now it's impossible to control stem borer larvae once they have entered the soybean stem. However, there's real value in assessing fields for your pressure levels. The very significant risk this insect presents, of course, is stem lodging after maturity, rendering plants completely unharvestable. We've seen yield losses as high as 40 to 50 percent in some area fields in the past years. Now dryland fields are usually at the most risk because those fields tend to have smaller plant stem diameters and plants tend to lose their moisture much faster than irrigated fields do. The absolute best defense against losses is timely harvesting of infected fields before plant stems become too dry, brittle, and start lodging. Now there are a couple management approaches which can help somewhat limit potential losses to this pest. One of my favorites is close management of your final irrigation strategy. When the soybean plant approaches maturity and it starts to dry out, this triggers the stem bore larva to girdle the base of the stem as they migrate down below ground where they will overwinter. If you can keep the plant healthy and alive for an extended period of time, it can somewhat fool the larva into delaying that girdling action. So careful management of your last couple irrigation passes to prevent plants from drying out too quickly or too severe can really help maintain plant health, which indirectly reduces stem girdling. Now this isn't foolproof, but it can definitely help somewhat. Walking fields now and observing signs of stem bore pressure levels is one of the best ways to minimize potential losses. By knowing the relative level of stem bore pressure across your different farms, you can adjust your harvest schedule to ensure a timely harvest of those fields with high infestation levels and thus limit your lodging losses. For your Pioneer Field Agronomy team, this has been John Mick. Thanks for watching today and have a safe week. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.